Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray Marquina, aka the official Arcaneer, and today we're diving into the Microsoft Fabric CI CD deployment tool, a powerful new feature in Microsoft Fabric that helps automate workspace deployments. On my screen, I have the Microsoft Fabric blog introducing this tool, and it does outline some key features that you have with this tool. It also has a little section on how you can get started, showing you the pip install command, the configuration, the script, and then at the end here, it has a sample of the code running um, within VS Code. And while this documentation provides some guidance, I found that it wasn't as detailed as I would have liked. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step setup using VS Code, hopefully making it easier for you to get started with the tool. And by the end, you'll have everything you need in order to draw your own conclusions on whether this is going to be a fit for you and your Fabric workflows. So with that out of the way, let's jump right on in. All right, so I'm going to navigate over to my DevOps project called Fabric Works, and then I'm going to go over to repos. And the repo that I'm going to use in this example is going to be called Arc Dev Repo. And if I navigate to the Fabric workspace, we can see that I do have a couple of objects in here. I have two notebooks and uh, two pipelines, as well as a lake house. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select the clone button and then copy the URL here. Next, what I need to do is open up Visual Studio Code. So let me go ahead and do that. So this is a, a brand new instance of Visual Studio Code that I have here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select clone Git repository. Now, you should already have GitHub installed when you um, install your Visual Studio Code. But in the event that you don't, navigate over to extensions and get that installed. So what I'm going to do next is paste in that URL that I just copied. So let me go ahead and paste. Oh, if my uh, cursor would want to behave. And then I want to press Enter. And now what it's going to do is it's going to open up File Explorer, and it's going to want me to find a um, repo destination. So I'm going to create a new folder called Fabric Repo and choose that as my repo destination. So I'll select that as my repository. And what this is doing is it's just importing all the objects that I have in that repo and putting them into my local drive. So I'm gonna open this in a new window so we can see that those objects are now here in my C drive. Okay, so what I now need to do is I need to go over to my extensions and install Python. So if I search for Python, we can see that there is a um, extension for it, and I'm going to go ahead and install. And this is what we need in order to get a Python file as well as debug that file so that we can actually run our code. So I'm going to let that install. And while that's installing, what we're then going to do is we're going to navigate over to Fabric to create our workspace. All right. So let me go to workspaces and let's create a new empty workspace called arc target workspace. Again, think of this as your production workspace or your QA workspace, a place that you're going to be promoting this code to. Click advance, make sure that's on my trial and click apply. So arc target workspace is the name. And let's go back to Visual Studio and see if that um, extension is done installing and it looks like it is so now that that is complete what we can do is we can open up a brand new file one thing i wouldn't recommend is i wouldn't recommend that you install the file where your repo is again this is going to be something outside of where your repo uh, what objects you want to house in your repo so i would just you know recommend doing it in a new folder um, into a new file or a new project if you will uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect, uh, select new file and then search for Python file. And the first thing we need to do is we need to do our pip install. So if you click on terminal, you can select new terminal from that dropdown. And then the pip install is going to be pip install fabric dash CICD. And then we're going to go ahead and press enter so that we can get that library installed. Okay, now that that's installed, the next thing we need to do is copy the code. 
So let me go ahead and make that copy. And let's go back to Visual Studio and paste in the code. Now there are a couple of parameters that we are gonna need to get, such as the directory, as well as our workspace ID. Let's go ahead and start with the directory. So I'm gonna navigate back to my C drive and look for my fabric repo, this arc repo directory and copy this path. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. All right, so one thing I noticed is uh, in the example, they're using forward slashes. So I'm gonna change my backslashes to forward slashes. And now what I wanna do is copy my workspace ID, copy that and paste it into the appropriate spot here, workspace ID, and paste that in. So I'm going to remove any, I'm gonna remove this bottom section of unpublished because all I'm interested in doing is publishing these objects. So now that this is here, let me go ahead and run debug. And it's gonna ask me to put this into a folder. So I'm gonna, again, go to my root C drive and create a new folder. And I'm just gonna call this uh, fabric CICD tool. And in here, we can open and save our file. And now that we've saved our file within that location, now our process is kicking off. And we can see that it started and it has already published notebook one, moving on to notebook two. Now that it's finished with the notebooks, it's moving on to our uh, data pipelines. And it looks like it was able to successfully publish the two there. So let's go validate and see if that's true. Here I am at my target workspace. And without even refreshing, we can see that they have indeed come through. So this is gonna be a tool that we can look at outside of uh, maybe deployment pipelines to help facilitate some of the objects that we wanna port over to that higher environment. One observation that I did make is that if I did wanna bring over a lake house, it just doesn't seem like it's supported at this time. Let me go ahead and run that for you just so you can see. So if I were to try and debug this, and we did see that I had a raw lake house in my uh, repo, Right, we get an error saying that uh, um, that it's not supported. So, uh, but it says it must be a notebook, a report, and a semantic model. So those are the objects that are currently supported at this time. So hopefully in the future, again, they expand this out to more objects. But as of right now, uh, looks like we do have a limited set. And that's going to do it for today's video. We were able to successfully clone our repo, set up the target workspace, as well as successfully deploy our fabric items into that target workspace. We did notice that some objects like lake houses aren't supported yet, which is definitely something to keep in mind. Hopefully Microsoft can expand this tool's capabilities in the future. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think this tool is going to be fitting for your workflow? Drop me a comment below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching and we're gonna see you in the next one.